So we are going to record the lesson. This tends to be a good period to get that done. All right, so number one, we are looking at 12 over 32. 12 over 32. All right, this is simplifying. Day two. Simplifying day two. All right, 12 over 32. Now, I can make factor sheets if I need to, but those are even numbers. So what do I know I can divide by, Peyton? Two. two. I know I can divide these by two since they're even. There is another number we could have picked. If you know of a larger number, you can use a larger number. All right, 12 divided by 2 gives me? Six. Six. 32 divided by 2. That one's a little bit trickier. So I'm going to come over here. 2 divided into 32. 2 will go into 3. Once, that gives me 2. I subtract. I get a 1. Bring down the 2. 2 will go into 12. 6 times. Okay, so 32 divided by 2 is 16. Okay, 6 and 16, is that a good way to leave my answer? No, what can I do now? Raise your hand, please. What can I do next? What can I do next, um, Keegan? Using what number? Two. We can use two again. All right, six divided by two is? Three. Three. And 16 divided by two is? Eight. Eight. All right, is that a good way to leave my answer? Yes. So there's my answer for number one. Right. Number two. I have 12 and 39 over 15. Okay, I'm going to move that over some. All right, 39 and 15, 12 and 39 over 15. What do we want to do first here? You've got a couple of options. Jafari, what would you like to do? Three. We can divide these by 3. So I know 3 can go into 3 and 9, so it'll go into 39, and I know 3 goes into 15. Okay, I'm going to leave 12 there. 3 will go into 3. Once and 3 will go into 9, 3 times, so I get 13. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay? What else do I need to do here? What else do I need to do? Or is that a good way to leave my answer? We can leave our answer like that. No? What's going on here? <coughs> What's wrong with this answer? I'm Gabriella? It's improper, so I've got to take that 13 over 5, and I'm going to have to divide it because I have a big number on top. How many times can 5 go into 13? Twice. 2 times 5 is 10. When I subtract, I get 3, and that's just what's left over, so I'm going to leave it there. <coughs> All right, so the two numbers I got out here, I got 2. What am I going to do with that 2? What am I doing with it, Christian? What am I going to do with my two? Jakaria? Add it to 12. Add it to 12. That's a big number. Two is how many whole times it'll go in, right? So I'm going to add this 12 plus 2 gives me 14. And what about that 3 underneath? That's my new numerator and 5 on the bottom. That is a great way to leave my answer. We have to get all the way to that. All right, let's look at number 3. I'm going to skip some lines just so that I don't get in the way of my other work. 25 over 55. What can I do to simplify this problem? Um, RJ? Divide by 5. 25 divided by 5 is? 55 divided by 5 is? So I get 5 over 11. Number 4. 34 over 8. What can I do to simplify 34 over 8? 
Peyton, I know you're on it. I'm going to look for some new hands because you, you've been volunteering a lot lately. All right, Carrie? Two. I can divide them by two. Divide by two, divide by two. 34 divided by two? 17. If I know 32 gives me 16, 34 would give me 17. All right, do you see how kind of leaving that work to the side, it can help us out later? 8 divided by 2 is? 4. All right, 17 and 4, good answer. What do I need to do here, Gabby? You're saying no. What's wrong? I've got to divide. I've got that big number on top, so I'm going to divide. 4 will go into 17. How many times? Four will go into 17. How many times, Morgan? Four times. Four times. Guys, is there anything in front here that I need to worry about? Was there anything in front of that 34 over 8? No. So I'm going to go ahead and make my 4 a big 4. Y'all okay with that? All right. So I get 4 there. 4 times 4 is? 4 times 4 is 16. Not adding, remember. 17 minus 16 is? So that 1 is my new numerator. What's on the bottom? Four. So I get four and one fourth. Four and one fourth. Go ahead and put these slowly together. Make sure we don't have any questions. Are there any questions about number four? All right, let's move this up some. Let's look at number five. I have nine and twenty one over fifty six. 21 and 56. This one might be a little bit harder to think about. So what could I do if I don't know the factor right away? What can I do? What can I do, Haley? I'm sorry, Kelsey? I can make a factor tree. All right? So I'm just going to go over here. You can do it over the side in the margin. I'm not. I'm just going to write it. I'm going to write it right next to it. So I'm going to do 21. And I'm going to do 56. You notice I did skip some space in case I need room to simplify and write a new answer. All right, 21. What can I split 21 into? Peyton? Oh, three, times seven. 3 times 7. So that one's done. Can I split it anymore? No. All right, 56. What can I split 56 into? Um, Carrie? Seven times eight. We can do 7 times 8. So that's going to mark out. Can I split anything else here? The 8. 8 would split into? 4 times 2. Can I split anything else? 4. 2 times 2. Okay. And then the 4 marks out. All right. What do they have in common here? What do they both have? Um, Braden? They both have a 7. So what are we going to divide by? A 7. So if you don't know what to divide by, make that list. Make those trees. All right, so 9 is going to stay in the front. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 56 divided by 7 is 8. And guys, I knew that they weren't going to simplify anymore because they didn't have anything else in common. Okay, so there's my answer. If they have two numbers in common, I can multiply those to get the bigger one, or I can just simplify twice. All right, let's look at number 6. 21 over... 40. 21 over 40. All right. Can anyone think of any number to use? Um, Peyton? All right, let's do a factor tree. So if we can't think of a number, we're just going to make a factor tree. If we think that it's simplified, we still want to make a factor tree just to know for sure. Like on the test, you want to know, I can't do anything to this problem. All right, so we're going to do 21. What will 21 split into? 3 times 7. We just did that one. Okay, so 3 times 7. All right, and then I'm going to split up 40. And guys, you can see I'm leaving some space just in case I need to simplify it. 40, what can 40 split into, Gabby? 4 times 10. All right, then 4 can split into 2 times 2. I'm going to mark it out. 10 will split into? 2 times 5 or 5 times 2. So what do those have in common? Nothing. Nothing. That has 3 and 7. That has 2, 2, 2 and 5. Do they have anything that they share? No. So can I simplify this? No. It's already simplified. 
21 and 40 is an easy one to trick people with because we know a lot about 21, we know a lot about 40, but what we know does not go together, unfortunately. All right, let's look at number seven. All right, do y'all think these factor trees could help you out? Because I know some of y'all just got stuck. So these factor trees will hopefully help us get unstuck. All right, let's look at, sorry, I'm trying to move my line up. Number seven, 42 over seven. 42 over seven. All right. What number can go in seven? seven. Nothing but seven. So what do I have to try to divide by? Seven. seven. And Jakari just said seven will go into 42. So, okay, let's divide. Remember, if you have a number that's prime, that's what you have to use. Are you all okay with why I had to use seven? All right, 42 divided by seven is? Six. six. Seven divided by seven is? One. one. Guys, what does it mean if I have six over one? What does that mean, Peyton? It's, a, it's improper. Jeremy? Total number. Anytime one is in the bottom. And it's for the reason that Peyton said. What's six divided by one? Six. Eight divided by one? Eight. Nine hundred and fifty-seven divided by one? Nine hundred and fifty-seven. If it has a one on the bottom, then my answer is really just a whole number. All right, we don't want to leave the one on the bottom. We want to just put six. Because anything divided by 1 is that number. All right, number 8. We have 82 and 16 over 3. All right. What can I do? All right, can anything else go into 3? No, just 3. Can 3 go into 16 perfectly? No. So that's not going to simplify, but is that a good answer? No. We need to divide this. We need to divide this. All right. So we're going to put 3 at the door, 16 in the house. How many times can 3 go into 16? 5. 5 times 3 is 15. When I subtract, I get 1. All right, Peyton, thank you for raising your hand earlier. What am I going to do with that 5? This 5 right here, we're going to add to 82. What does that give me? 87. And then my 1 that was left over on the bottom, what's going to happen to that? Put it above the fraction bar. What's going to go below the fraction bar? That 3. Question about number eight. So number eight couldn't actually simplify, but did I still have to change it and fix it? Okay. Number nine. Number nine. We have five and twenty-four over thirty-six. All right, someone new. I need a new hand that hasn't answered yet today. What can I simplify these by? Noah? Two. Two. Okay, so five is still there. 24 divided by two is? 12. 12. 36 divided by two is 18. So, guys, I want us to kind of look back at our old work because this is something that I do a lot to help me. I already did 32. 32 gave me 16. 34 gave me 17. So 36 is going to give me 18. Counting by twos, right? Okay. Is this a good way to leave my answer? No. What should I do now, Braden? Divide by two again. All right. So I still have five. 12 divided by 2, 6. 18 divided by 2, 9. Is this a good way to leave my answer? No, why not? What's wrong with this answer?
Isa? I can divide these by three. Remember, we like two. We always want to check two, but we also always want to check on three. Okay, so I have five. Six divided by three is? Two. Nine divided by three is? Three. So I get five and two-thirds, and that one is done. I'm going to go ahead and circle it for us so we know it's done. All right, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough room to do number ten, so I'm going to go down below it and do ten. I know I've been doing two a piece, but not leaving myself much space there. So 10 is 32, and then I have 38 over 14. 32, and then I have 38 over 14. Okay, what do I need to do first on this problem? Julia, what would you like to do? Divide by what? Two. Okay, so we can divide these by two. So I get 32, 38 divided by 2, if 36 was 18, 38 is going to be 19, over 14 divided by 2 is 7, okay? Can I simplify anymore? No, we cannot simplify anymore. Y'all did awesome about listening to that carefully. These can't divide anymore. So what do I need to do here? Um, Peyton? <coughs> so instead of dividing both of them, I need to divide the whole thing because it's improper. So I'm going to put 7 into 19. How many times will 7 go into 19? Twice. Twice. I'm going to put a 2 right there because there's a number in front. What am I going to end up having to do with those? Add I'm going to have to add them in a minute. So 2 times 7 is? 14. When I subtract, what's left over? Five. Go ahead, Easton. Thank you for waiting. How am I going to write that answer? Christian. Okay, so I have 34 because he took the little two that we got, the two on top, and added it. Perfect. Okay. On the top, 5, and on the down, 7. Perfect. So I got 34 and 5 over 7. Excellent job. Excellent job. All right. Um, again, my advanced class is doing all of these 1 through 30. For this period, my fifth period class, y'all have done really, really well. All right, I'm going to let you do the same thing we did yesterday. I'm going to let you mark off 26 and 27 through 30 because y'all did so well. All right, seventh period, I will let you know when I see you. Um, if y'all work well, we will have that same opportunity. If we do not work as well and as quietly and raising our hand as fifth period did, then you will go through 30. All right, but y'all did a great job, guys. So y'all are gonna use the rest of the period to work on those. All right, that does leave you with 15. Or in here for fifth period.